Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this feast day of uh, St. John Vianney, um, the patron saint of parish priests. Now this is a, an optional memorial or feast day today uh, in the church, but because he is the patron saint of parish priests in many parishes, uh, this uh, feast day is observed as it is here at St. Pius. This morning uh, at Mass, we used the alternative readings. Uh, if you're following along in the breviary, the readings we heard at Mass this morning, uh, or even in the Magnificat, did not match uh, because we used the readings from uh, the Feast of St. John Vianney. And uh, those readings uh, tell us that uh, we're all called you know, through our baptism, we're all uh, anointed at our baptism, uh, priest, prophet, and king uh, as part of our pet baptism. So we, we do have a priestly role in our lives through the uh, sacrament of baptism. And uh, so we are all called, like we heard in the gospel today, we're all called to work in the vineyard for the harvest the gospel today said that uh, the harvest is abundant but the laborers are few so we are called to help uh, god in our lives by nurturing faith in others by helping to increase the kingdom by bringing more and more people into the faith, into a relationship with God. Uh, so it's so important and vital for us all to understand that the work of uh, redemption, the work of, uh, of salvation, the work of, of evangelization is not just reserved for those wearing Roman collars, our good and faithful priests, uh, but it falls to all of us. We all lend a hand. We all are part of God's kingdom and we all need to be laborers for the harvest, uh, not just our bishops and priests and our Holy Father, but all of us. Let us pray our evening prayer together, shall we? Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You cannot serve both God and mammon. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the work world men both high and low, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and must leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age though their names spread wide through the land. In the riches, in his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You cannot serve both God and mammon. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, says the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, 
who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. <coughs> his glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers and will never see the light any more. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our mouth speak your wisdom, Lord Jesus, and help us to remember that you became man and redeemed us from death, that we might merit the beauty of your light. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, says the Lord. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power, for you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seal, for you were slain with your blood you purchased for God, men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and sharer in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly as God would have you do, not under constraint and not for shameful profit, profit either, but generously. He be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and ever prayed for them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, this is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a faithful and wise steward. The Lord entrusted the care of his household to him so that we, he might give them their portion of food at the proper season. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. 
He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is a faithful and wise steward. The Lord entrusted the care of his household to him, so that he might give them their portion of food at the proper season. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him in our weakness, we pray. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of, the, of your people when their holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit and filled all the leaders of your people with the same spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. You are the blood. Your, bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Gathering our prayer, add praises into one. Let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father of mercy, you made St. John Vianney outstanding in his priestly zeal and concern for your people. By his example and prayers, enable us to win our brothers and sisters to the house of Christ and come with him to eternal glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may the Lord bless all of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, rest well, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.